welcome to math. Did you like your math videos? Some of you might have said, Miss Parnell, I completely understand what's going on. I don't need any help. Some of you might say, I get it, but I'm not quite there. Well, the good thing about math is you can practice it till you do get it. So let's read what our paper says to do today and we'll do some together. It says, add to 10. Draw the part being added to six, seven, or eight. Think of making 10. That's our big direction for today. Complete the addition sentence. So all day we're trying to make a 10, trying to make a 10, trying to make a 10, all day. Now, I have multivitamins because I don't have my counters. They're all at school. And we don't have any gummy snacks or I would have used those, but we have <laughs> multivitamins on this 10 frame and we have orange vitamins on this 10 frame. We're going to learn the science of vitamins later. There's some very mixed thoughts on vitamins. They say it's much better if you just eat real food, but McKinley's papa likes for her to take these vitamins. So we let her, we just don't rely on them. Now we've got two 10 frames. Let's see what this first problem says. It says eight plus six. Now, if you check out the top 10 frame, it matches mine. There's two holes in the number eight. You see that? Eight needs two more to get to 10. So you say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We need two more. Now below it says to add six to it. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we do, if I draw six in this 10 frame right here, that wouldn't be right. You know why? You're always supposed to make 10. So over here, the best part of this is I can move these around. I can't move my paper around. So eight needs to say, Scusi, Mr. Orange, could we borrow two of you to make 10, please? And Mr. Orange is a good neighbor. He says, but of course you can borrow two of mine. So you're always trying to make what? Tens, always. We wanna make a 10 so that it's easier to add. These are cool strategies for adding and getting fast at math around the world. So we have six down here, five, six, but we need to borrow some of them. So these two are gonna come up here. When you're adding eight, take two away from whatever number you're adding and make it a 10. So let me show you the trick and we'll see if it works. Since eight, this is eight, it's two less than 10. See, eight, one, two, nine, 10. Let's come over here and see if our trick works. You know how with nine you think one less with eight, you think two less. What's two less than six? Six, five, four. I'm gonna guess that our answer is 14, okay? But let's see if the trick works because for the eight trick to get fast at math around the world, you look at eight and say, oh, eight? Eight is two less than 10. So let me take two away from the six and give it to the eight. Two less than six is six, five, four, 14. 14, 14 is my answer. Did I win? Do I move on to the next desk in math around the world? Let's see, because doing that is way faster than going eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That takes so much longer than saying, oh, I'm adding eight. I have to take two away from whatever number it is and make it a team. Six, five, four, 14. Okay, well, let's try it. Let's draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, I took two away from the six to make 10. So I'm gonna say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, so what you think is eight plus, how many did we take away? Eight plus two is 10. How many are left over? Four. 
Get it? We're always trying to make 10. That's the name of the game. Now, if eight, let's see if it added up over here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. Now it's time to reset. Reset to seven plus five. Okay. Reset. Here's seven on a 10 frame. Seven on a 10 frame is missing three. So whenever you're adding seven, you think, well, seven's missing three. So I'm gonna take three from this guy. What is three take away, or five take away three? Five take away three is two. My guess is that this is gonna be 12. That's my guess, but let's see if I'm right, okay? So we got seven here, and we got seven here. But what is, what am I adding? Five, okay, let's add five. One, two, nope, I don't count, remember? Don't count, just put them up, because you know this top guy is five, period, five. So here's seven plus five, okay? But I need to make 10. Gotta make 10, gotta make 10, always gotta try to make 10. So we gotta try to make 10. I have to take, whenever there's seven, he's missing three to get to 10. So let's take these three. One, two, three. And look, the answer is 10, 11, 12. So what you always think in your head is that you've got, if it's plus five, like this, you gotta think, I gotta take three away for sevens, so the answer's 12. So take three away from five. Five minus three is two, the answer is 12. Let's see if we're right. Here's seven plus one, two, three, four, And see, I took three away from this five to make 10, 11, 12. It's just a little trick. So you think seven plus three more is 10, and then there's two left over. 12 is always gonna be the answer. You just add a one in front of it. Is it starting to make sense? The more we do it, the more it makes sense, so don't worry. Okay, we're back to eight. I know that eight from my last go around, eight is two less than 10. So I'm always gonna try to make tens. Let me see if I can do the trick real fast without thinking. If I'm adding eight, since it's two less, let me take two from four. What's four take away two? Two, I bet you this answer is 12. See how fast that was? That is so much faster than going, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Kids are going to beat you at math around the world if you're doing that. But if you can just say to yourself, self, I have to take 2 away from this guy to get 10, and then I just put a 1 in front of it, and there's my answer. So self, if I have 4 and an 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. You just say, self, I'm trying to make 10. Eight is two less than 10, 12. You're, you're not, you're just moving stuff around to get the answer faster. So look at it again, eight plus four. Think to yourself, self, eight needs two more to get to 10, 10, 11, 12. So think eight plus four, Think of the four, not the eight. Think of the four. Take two from it, 12, bam. All right, but let's do it in slow-mo. Eight is already here, plus one, two, three, four. I just moved these two up here to make it go faster. 
10, 11, 12. It was right. The trick always works. So when you're adding, you think 8 plus 2, which is what? 10, and bring over the remaining 2? 12. See how that goes really fast? Okay, let's clear the board. The next one is six plus eight. Okay, well let's take a look at what six looks like. Six is four less than 10, so I need to take four away from eight. What's eight minus four? Four, I bet my answer is 14. Let's see if the trick works, ready? So here's six, and then I gotta do eight. Remember, don't count the top line. It's just five. You never count it, ever. You just say five. But then you can count whatever is after it if it doesn't make a five. So you say five, six, seven, eight. You always count on. So we have six up here, and whoops, six up here, eight down here. 6 and 8. And I told you the fast way is to just say self. 6 has four empty spots that I need to steal from 8. So, I'm just going to, if I do it fast in my head, I say 8 minus 4 is 4. 14. 14. My answer is 14 for math around the world. Here, I would do 6 minus, I would do 6 plus 5. I would think 5 minus 4 is 1. 11. My answer is 11. Eight is two less. Okay, gotta take two from here. Two take from three is one. Eleven. Do you see how you're doing it? You're just thinking of making ten, and the answer comes so much faster. The more you practice, the better you'll get. So, for six plus eight, remember I said I think it's going to be fourteen? Let's check her out. I need to steal four. And every, every time I have a six in my head because I want to make 10, 14. Get it? Four and 10. One, four, 14. So watch it again. And if you have gummies at home and your mom doesn't mind making you some double 10 frames, practice it until you really get it. The more you do it, the more your brain gets it. So we've got Six and eight. This is going to help you all through life with addition if you can make ten. Six is missing four to get to ten. So anytime you're adding six, all you do is take four away from the other add end. So if we're adding six and eight, all we think is eight minus four is four, 14. Check it out. Let's do it slow mo. One, Six is missing four, so I'm going to take four from eight. Fourteen. So let's do it over here. We have six blue. Now we're going to add eight. One, two, three. Four. See how I took four away from this eight? Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> so I took four away to make 10. And I just say 10 and four is 14. It was correct. So all you think is six, plus four makes 10. And what do I have left over? Four. What's 10 and four? 14. Okay, let's try this one. Six and five. Okay, let's do the board to match. Six and five. Okay, so there's six and five. Now remember, what is missing to get to 10 with the sixes? Four is missing, so I'm gonna think to myself, self, four are missing. I'm gonna minus 
minus 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Add a 1. My guess is it's 11. That took me like 3 seconds instead of going 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Who would go faster at math around the world? The person who does it this way, right? So it takes practice, but you're going to be doing this all through elementary. So we got 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5. Watch this. Just slide 4 up here. 11. Watch it again. Here's 6 up here plus 5 here. Let's fit them in. These guys just move on up to these slots. 10, 11. Let's do it down here as well. Let me get a different color marker. So we have six triangles plus five more. One, two, three, four, five. All I did, I still do five blue triangles, but I just put the four up here because 10 and one is way faster and easier to add. Making tens makes everything faster. And 10 and one more is 11. So what you think is, okay, I wanna do six and four, because that makes 10. One more makes 11. Six plus four plus one is 11. <laughs> so our guess was right. The fast guess was 11, and then when we worked it out, we were correct. Okay, let's check number six out. Oh, it's an eight again. So let me reset my board, and I'm gonna make eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Remember, never ever do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, 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 no. Never. That that would take so much time and it's not worth it. Just say five, six, seven, eight. Plus how many? Three. Okay. One, two, three. Now, are you ready for my guess? Eight is missing two. So I'm gonna guess three take away two. What's three take away two? One. My guess is this is 11. Let's see if I'm right. So we have, we're trying to make 10 always. Eight plus three. Eight, you always wanna take two away from what you're adding. 10, 11. Watch it again. 8 plus 3, I see two holes need to come up. So I do 3, I just rather do 3 take away 2, it's faster, 10, 11. Was I right? Yeah. Okay, so let's put, let's plug it in. Let's do our three squares. So we got 8 reds plus 1, 2, 3, blue. 8 reds plus 3 blue. Now look, it's still three blue. It still is. I just made 10 to make it go faster. 10 plus one is 11, which was what my guess was. So what I'm gonna think is eight plus two is what I'm gonna think in my head, plus one more. Or you could say, what's three take away two? Three take away two is one e 11. All right, so we're gonna keep practicing, don't worry. If you're still a little confused, no big deal. I'm not worried about it, neither should you be. Listen to Ms. Parnell, I was horrid at math and I don't want that for you, so don't ever give up. If you keep doing it, once your brain gets it, I promise you, it will always understand it. It just has to get there first. Some people get it right away, some take a little bit of time, but you know what? I bet you're really good at reading if, if math is hard for you, you're probably a great reader. So don't worry, it all balances out. Okay, let's read this one. Complete the sentences. Miss C saw eight rams on the mountain. She saw five rams in the grass. How many rams did Missy see? I'm gonna do my trick. I know Oh, well, you know what? Instead of drawing it, I'm just going to do it on my board. Eight 
So I got five, six, seven, eight, plus five. And remember, don't count these. One strip on a 10 bar is five, period. There's no need to count and double check. I promise you it's always gonna be five. Now my eight trick is to take two away from what I'm adding to it. So here I'm adding eight and five. Well, I know the eight trick is take two away. Bloop, 13, watch, eight and five right? That is not very fun to do. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Blah. Let's just do, how do I get to 10? 2. So since I know 8 is looks like this on the 10 frame, I just take 2 from the 5 and make it a teen. So I just say, Eight is missing two on the 10 frame, so let me take two from the five. Five take away two, three, 13. So when you're doing math around the world, that's a really fast way to do it. The more you picture this in your head, the more it gets stuck like glue and you go faster and faster. So Missy saw five, remember our trick is take two from five, which is three, 13. Missy saw 13 rams because we know 8 plus 5 is 13. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this camera and right. So 8 up at the top, 5 at the bottom. When you're adding 8s, take 2 from the other guy. Bloop. 1 set of 10 and 3 ones. 1, 3, 13. 1, Three, one, three, 13. We're just rearranging it to make it faster. It's our tricks. Okay, let's flip to the back. And since this video is getting long, I am going to go to the next video.